And we're going to jump in right now to the first key that I want to share with you, uh, which is having a brand statement. So this is super important. So to most academics, you know, a brand statement is kind of like, what? Why do I need it? Why is it important? Well, your brand statement is super important because I know all of you are awesome and you get asked to do a lot of things. Can you be on this committee? Can you speak here? Can you just talk to, you know, can you just mentor your long lost cousin about X, Y, and Z, right? You get asked to do a lot of things. And sometimes the opportunities that come across your desk are not actually opportunities, they are distractions. And you don't know the difference between the two because you don't have a brand statement and your brand statement is connected to your life vision, your life purpose. I went through a couple of years with a friend of mine, we're both faculty members, and we, we just, for like a year, we were complaining like, I'm doing everything I said I wanted to do, but I still feel like something is missing. I feel like I don't know what my purpose is. I feel like I don't know why I am here on this planet. It's something, I'm, I'm, I'm a professor, I have a PhD, but something doesn't feel right. And you know, I realized that I was waiting for like the heavens to open and like God to tell me what my purpose was, but that's never gonna happen. You have to decide what your purpose is and you have to know what your purpose is by going through a set of activities. One of those activities is your brand statement. So this here is the formula, okay? So my brand statement is I create experiences for free thinkers to feel empowered when they're challenging the status quo. Now, here's the thing. There are a lot of different formulas for brand statements, right? This, this is the one that I use. Um, I'm actually a member of a co-working space called Rec Philly, where they help you with brand building and give you creative coaching, which is why I'm able to pass this on to you. Now, my brand statement that I just gave you, every time I say it, it just feels so good. It like, it like nourishes my soul every time I say it. It is part of my mission. I am on brand. If I get an opportunity that comes across my desk, I ask myself one question. Does this align with my brand statement? If the answer is no, I will not do that opportunity. I'm telling you, I've gotten opportunities to write books for $40,000. And I said, you know what? <laughs> Your company is not in alignment with my mission. I cannot do it, right? So, and, and, it, and it, it feels good right? You, you don't have fear about turning down opportunities that are not in line with your mission because you know where you're headed. So you can write this formula down. This is something that we would kind of work through in one-on-one -on -one coaching, but let me go through it with you quickly. So that first part, that first blank, what do you create? You don't want this to be limited, right? You don't want to, you don't want to say like, I create research or I, I create, I don't know, books. You want it to give you room to breathe. So mine is I create experiences. So that allows me to breathe. If five years from now, I wanna do a podcast, it still fits into experiences. If I write a book, for me, I'm giving you an experience, right? So if you were, I don't know, an audio visual person, you could say, I create audio, I create visuals, I create content. Keep that first word, broad enough to allow you to grow. The second part, for who? One adjective and one noun, okay? So mine is free thinkers. But this is, is the type of person that you want to help. Who are you creating for? I'm creating for free thinkers. You are all here probably because you identify in some way as a free thinker. You're trying to do something different than people like you are supposed to do, right? If you're a artist, you're supposed to be a starving artist. A free thinker may not think like that. So one adjective, one noun. So, you know, this could be like charming introverts, uh, engaged researchers, right? Adjective, noun, make it specific. That's who you're trying to focus in on. Then what do you want them to feel? When, when these types of people engage with you and your content and your brand, what do you want them to feel? I want people to feel empowered. Now, for me, that word used to be inspired, but inspired is a little bit different than empowered, right? In inspired, I can spark something in you to inspire you to do something. Empowered to me means that I can give you the tools to do it. So how do you want those people to feel? Because once you can be specific about who you're here for and who you're showing up for, then you can create content. And you have a mission for a specific set of people. Apple products are not for everybody. Coca-Cola is not for everybody. None of these big brands, even though they're international and everybody knows them, none of it is for everybody. They have people, uh, avatars, multiple avatars that they are trying to reach. And then how do you want those people, you know, wh when do you want them, those people to feel inspired or empowered? 
And this is going to be four words or less. So mine's is when they are challenging the status quo. So for me, all of the content, all of the books, power your research, anything I do is to empower people um, when, the, when they're challenging the status quo. I literally want you to think of, of one of my characters or me when you need to stand up to somebody in your relationship, when you need to stand up to that bully aunt or uncle in your family, when you need to stand up to that boss who is toxic. Like, I want you to be like, you know what? I just read this character in Sheena's book and this is what that character to do. And today, you know, I am feeling empowered to stand up to the, to the status quo of whatever that environment you are in um, um, looks like. So you can write this formula down, play with it. And, and, and as you go through this, repeat that sentence back to yourself until it feels good. Cause you, you, you should feel it in your soul. And, and, and when I say, you know, I create experiences for free thinkers to feel empowered when they're challenging the status quo. I'm telling you every time I say it, I'm layering it on who I am and what my purpose is in this world. And when, when you get that sentence, the first iteration might not be perfect. You work on it. And once you get it, you move on, right? I know a lot of us might be like type A, all right? And we want to get it perfect. Get it and move on. Um, and, and then we'll, we'll, we'll um, go to the next thing. So that's the first key. Get that brand statement. Get that brand statement down. 